Hello and welcome to episode 38 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to just take you through how I am organizing or how I am using Evernote on a daily basis uh, now that we're at the end or now that 2016 has finished and that we are now into 2017. <clears throat> now, um, basically, I just want to go through how I'm using the shortcuts and how I actually access this pretty much on a daily basis. So um, <clears throat> let's get straight into this. So what I've got up here is my inbox, and this is where everything goes. No matter what the note is, everything will arrive in my inbox. Uh, I don't want to be thinking about processing any notes while I'm creating the notes. Everything, and I mean everything, starts in my inbox. The reason being is, is that quite often I'll dump something into Evernote and then later think, nah, I don't really want to use that. So everything, and I mean everything, even name cards, because I have a notebook for name cards, but name cards that I scan always, always start in my inbox. I then process my inbox every Friday or Saturday night, but I basically process the inbox on a weekly basis and but everything, and I do mean everything, does start in my inbox. The next one that I use in shortcuts is my incubator. Now, this is the um, the most important um, shortcut that I have because these are all the notes that I'm currently working on. So I have here uh, my ideas for my productivity online course, uh, my productivity workshop ideas are all in here. Uh, 2017, my own basic plan is in here. Um, my to do is video ideas will come up in here. And I usually track comments as well. So if I've got a comment here, like here I've got from Ben Black, which is um, an idea that we had for a for a uh, tutorial in Todoist. I have um, this is the employee evaluation note uh, that I would was using. Um, so as you can see down here, I've got even my pure GTD project, which I'm playing around with um, and a pure GTD project in Todoist. So all my notes that I'm currently working on are in here. So these are ideas for a lecture series with one of my clients, uh, 2017 plans all here. So all my <clears throat> um, all my current thinking or ideas go into my incubator. This is a really, really the most important um, shortcut that I have. And basically, it's just a label. Uh, sorry, it's, a, it's actually a work, uh, a notebook um, called incubator and everything goes in there. Once I finish with the note, I will then process it into my reference folders. My work, um, work one is basically it's not work, but it's actually um, <clears throat> my word of the day. This is something that we do every week and send out to my students of English. Um, I have a word of the day list here that I can add words to um, whenever they come to me. And I use, for those of you who've been following this series, you know that I use drafts to actually uh, capture words and ideas that come to me as and when. Finally is my free talking. Uh, this is the free talking folder. These are all articles that I would be doing with my students and discussing with my students and I keep all the articles in here. Again, these would be processed from my uh, inbox and added with the tag. So I have tags set up here um, for all sorts of things. So if I just um, go over here, if I type in FT, uh, which this stands for free talking, and then I have divided the topics. So I've got culture, career, relationships, technology, and work. Um, so there's all sorts of things that you can do here with that. Um, my notebook structure is a little bit confusing at the moment, and there's a reason behind that. But you can ignore these for the time being. Um, but basically, my notebook structure is current projects, which I have in here, which is number one. So these are all the projects I'm working on at the moment. Um, I've got my general reference work, general reference personal, free talking, and so on. So um, tagging hasn't changed at all since the um, previous week, and then I got my trash. But really what I wanted you to focus on was more about the shortcuts and what I have kept up here. The reason why I'm using the shortcuts so much is simply because 
um, with shortcuts. This is so much quicker to access when you're using your mobile devices. On a computer, it doesn't matter so much. It's much easier just to go straight into the notebook that, or notes that you want. But I find on the mobile devices, using shortcuts, these will be much more useful because they come up and they're on almost on the front screen. Okay, so that's just a quick brief overview of how I'm organizing or how I'm using Evernote on a daily basis now that we're the finished 2016 and going into 2017. Nothing has changed really much over the year. I've kept the structure pretty much the same. Um, there's just one additional thing which I'm um, a alpha or beta project for a friend of mine uh, that we're using within Todoist, um, which I'm sure will come out maybe later this year. So that's basically it. So hopefully you found that useful. Bear in mind, I think the incubator is probably the most important um, notebook that you can create because this is for all your ideas. Um, as and when you're developing ideas and you're not ready to move it into a project, then everything is in here. So um, I think this is a really, really good um, way of being able to keep on top of all the things that you're thinking about but haven't turned into a project as of yet. Okay, so thank you very much for watching my series. And thank you very much for watching this video. I just wish you all a very, very happy 2017 and I will see you in the next episode.